It is my great pleasure to be here with Comrade Claire Daly. Claire, you just had this, gave a speech here in front of this fantastic audience, this rally. Tell yeah. us a bit more about it. I mean, look, at I think for both of us to be here today from Greece and from Ireland to stand in solidarity with the people of Munich, we know that we represent the voices of the people of Europe who are so disconnected from those in power. The people in power are puppets of the military industrial complex. They're enabling a genocide in Gaza. And it's very clear that the ordinary people in Europe want no part of that. When we were just arriving here, I noticed there was a NATO flag being waved by an anti-demonstration demonstration. And I was thinking to myself, my goodness, don't these people realize that NATO is like the mafia? They create insecurity to sell security. They create threats to sell protection. And in the end, NATO guarantees that Europe is deindustrializing, it is falling behind economically, socially, morally, it is becoming geopolitically irrelevant. Absolutely. I mean, to see NATO flags being flown here when we know that NATO is simply the organization for the advancement of US interests is absolutely pathetic. When we have a leadership of the European Union which sanctions ourselves so supposedly to undermine the Russian economy, but just succeeds in having the Russian economy becoming the strongest economy in Europe, you know that the lunatics have really taken over the asylum here. And the needs of people in Europe are for cooperation, for enhanced solidarity on all of matters. And it does start with Palestine because they have been hijacked. They have been the mouthpieces of Israeli genocide. And it is so shameful to see that being done in the names of European citizens when it is clearly so not the case. We have a uh, European Parliament election happening in June. Uh, though you, the European Parliament can never change anything, you have proven with your voice in it that uh, it is important to have a forum, just a podium, on which we can tell the truth to Europeans. This is why I'm very much looking forward to us working together to bring about a voice of reason, of peace and shared prosperity, which can never happen in Europe unless we become uh, liberated from NATO, from the military industrial complex, from uh, the banking and financial community, uh, and we need to stand together in this, along with Palestinians, along with Germans, along with Italians. You know, Ireland, at least, is not in NATO. Thank God for that. Well, not for much about today. Our Prime Minister, for the first time, is here in Munich at the Security Conference, something that has never happened before. They say we're not going to join NATO, but Joseph Borrell has made it abundantly clear that European defence now is aligned with NATO. So it may not be in name, but in reality now, they are driving all of Europe into NATO. And that's why I yeah. absolutely echo your words. It is so important that as we go into the European elections, I don't know if I will be re-elected. I know that those in power in Ireland are absolutely adamant to make sure that that does not happen. But if I manage to pull it off, I sincerely hope that I am joined by you, Yanis, from Greece and so many others are speaking against militarism and against peace. It is absolutely what Europe needs. Every day I'm contacted by people from Germany, from Italy, from France who feel their views are not represented in the Parliament. So we need people like you there, we need people like others, we need to break through that domination and to reclaim Europe for the people out of the hands of the lobbyists. And you know what? Let's have some fun trying. Absolutely. Always. It doesn't matter whether Always. we win. What matters is that we keep up the good struggle together with all these people. Absolutely. So let's begin with free Palestine before we can free Europe. Absolutely. Yeah. We say in Ireland, if we fight, we might win. If we don't fight, we've lost already. So that's what we're here to do to challenge us. All right. Come with you. Free Palestine. Free Palestine.